What's up, ladies? So I heard you out here scamming folks, huh? Word on the street is your name the PPP loan queen, or you known as the tax lady. So you heard you do folk taxing to everybody get $5,000 messing with you, huh? So since you out here scamming folks, I'm going to let you know how it's going to be on your first night of jail. You see what I'm saying? Because I got experience in jail and prison because I just gave the state six and a half years of my life in prison. And yes, I said gay because I had it, decided by my crime that I didn't want it, and I said the state, here you go. Man, hell no, nah, but here you go. <laughs> and guess what? They took it too because, you know, the state don't turn on nothing. See, yeah, they greedy. So first, the police going to run up on you, right? Then you're going to deny any involvement with it. Involvement with the crime, you're gonna be crying, trying to use your looks to get out of it, and it's gonna work too. It's gonna work so well that the police gonna give you these two shiny, brand new bracelets and put them around your wrist. Then they're gonna throw you in the back of the police car. You'll be crying, kicking the seats, and all this stuff, trying to get out of it. But that ain't gonna work. So they're gonna take you down to the county jail. They're gonna strip you of all your possessions, your clothes, the fake jewelry you got on, the earrings, the nose rings, all that. All that's gonna be gone. Then they're gonna throw you in the holding cell. See, the holding cell is cold. It's like 50 degrees. It's in this moment where you realize that you fucked up. Now you see now, you done fucked up and you Here's where you realize you won't be able to do all the things you used to do no more. Here's where you realize that you failed temporarily as a mother. See, ladies, the worst thing a parent can do, no matter whether it's male or female, is not be in their kid's life. Uh, your kids would rather be struggling than have you there than to be balling on the budget for a while and you be gone. And when you're in jail, it's like you're either going to be cold all the time or you're either going to be hot all the time because there ain't no perfect weather in jail. Then you're always going to be hungry, too. It don't matter if you just ate because the food that they serve you, it don't have no substance to it. I remember when I was in the county jail, every Saturday they used to feed, feed us chili dogs and pudding. And every time we, we used to get the chili dogs, it used to have rocks in it because, you know, they get the beans from the ground. And you had to be careful because, like, I, I can't tell you how many people I've seen with chipped tooth in their mouth. And I know, ladies, y'all don't want to eat that. Men and women want to eat that. Don't nobody want to live like that. Because it's not a place, to, uh, it's not a place, really, honestly, for no human being to live, no sane human being. Uh, but ladies, there's always a way. There's always another way to make it. Uh, jail is no place for no queen. And remember, if you want anything in life, all it takes is effort and a little bit of faith. Now get your scamming ass on somewhere.